so a funny thing happened. I had a rant that was going to be in a critical analysis video that's being worked on right now. But I found that I had more to say on the subject, so it's actually going to be its own separate video now. Hooray! This was originally just a little rant that I had, and it, it'll be referenced in the critical analysis video, it'll be there. But looking back and thinking a bit more, I have more to say. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the rant that, that, that was already there. And then me right now recording this right here, I will step back in and I'll talk about it some more now that I'm more level headed. So let's get started. While I was editing the Sonic.exe remake part one video, I wasn't satisfied with how we covered the nine reasons why that writer is confused by form and from. So now that I'm not under the influence of alcohol, I decided to address this in more depth than I did on critical analysis. And now that I have fully and carefully read over it, I, I found that I have a lot of issues with this writer for his excuses. This is what happened. So for anyone who doesn't know, this is fanfiction.net and it's a and there's a little trick here where right now you can't copy the words that are on this page. Well, if you go up here and you remove the World Wide Web and you put M in front, hit enter, now you can copy. Do you know the difference between form and from? Because I have seen that every time the word is supposed to be from, you write form. And it's too consistent for it to be a simple spelling error. It's a lot more problematic than you think. I am extremely busy. As of right now, besides the over 50 stories on this site and the 14 on my smut site, I am working a normal job, doing commissions, working to improve my drawing skills, working on a comic, working on a novel, life in general, trying to move out, and get a job with my graphics designer's degree. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were leading the life of literally every other fucking writer on this planet. Most of this is your fucking choice, I might add. You are so fucking busy. How about you drop some of that stuff? Hey, look. Now you're not as busy anymore. Most of my stories are about 15 or more pages long. I have shorter ones, sure. And those I can go back easily and fix a few mistakes. But 15 or more pages are kind of hard to do after six or so hours of work. Oh, you sweet, sweet boy. I didn't know that your life was so hard. I know it's such a problem to actually give a fuck about not having mistakes in a story that you are creating. But you're right. You have such a fucking hard life. I'll just stop here. The brain is a bitch. You see, you may know this or not, but our brain fills things in aromatically when we read. Like reading words backwards. Our brain fills in those blanks. Those blank automatically. So, if I know a word is coming next in my story, that I know, instead of editing it, I will just skip because my brain has already filled it in. So, there are ways around this. It's called reading. Reading every word that you wrote, regardless. It happens more times think you think. Since so, I must read a story many times before not having a single mistake. 
You could probably see them in this explanation. I'm sorry, fucking what? You're either saying you do read it multiple times and then there's no mistake, or you are saying that you have to read it multiple times, which is too much fucking work. What the... What? You could say get a beta, but for me, who tries to stick to canon in my work, I have a certain way I write that few people can duplicate. The beta may not understand what I'm trying to say. So I am going to have to edit my work anyway, because they may not even know what I'm trying to say. Okay, first, you stick to canon? If that's the case, you fucking suck at it. Second, if you mean a beta writer, write your own fucking work. If you mean a beta reader, I don't care. They are there to look for mistakes in your shit. So they are helping you identify problems, potentially making editing easier on you, you fucking asparagus. In fact, my guy, I, along with countless others, have a listing available right now on the freelance website called Fiverr, where I, along with the others, can and will proofread and edit your stuff for $5. Hell. If you tell me what you're writing, why you're writing it, and if it's short enough, I might just be a nice guy and do it for free. And trying to get in contact with my is terrible since it took me, what, two days to respond to you? And what I write isn't always for the faint of heart, so it'll be hard to find a beta that'll be fine with my work. Two days? I know math isn't my best subject either, but at least I can fucking count. Microsoft Word is dumb. It's fucking smarter than you. I should be using Grammarly, but haven't had time to use it. Maybe I shouldn't. It'll tell you you're wrong too. But for the sake of actually being helpful here, you might be better off using both. As you can see, Microsoft Word is picking up mistakes that Grammarly does not. Vice versa, Grammarly is picking up mistakes that Word is not. But I mean, either way, your writing is fucked. Form and from do confuse me a little since they look the same at a glance. So there's something you can do about that is called fucking fixing it! I get so many trolls who tell me that there's a mistake in my work when there isn't. I just start ignoring any review that mentions them because of how aggravating it is to go through a near 20 page work and find nothing. You find nothing! Are you blind or, at or actually fucking retarded? Hey, here's an idea. If multiple people are telling you there are problems, maybe they're onto something. And you should find someone to read it. I am an amateur like everyone else on this site. I'm an amateur. I have a writing style few can duplicate. Fucking pick one. Also, like everyone else, do not insult people by comparing them to you. There is a reason as to why actual writers have editors since English grammar itself is a punk and a half. So what's stopping you from getting an editor? Just like getting a, f like just, <clears throat> just getting a fucking friend for free. Because I'm confident that you know someone like that. Oh no, right, wait, that means finding someone who will say that your work has mistakes and you have to acknowledge that, my bad. Not everyone on fanfic is a true writer and some just do it for fun. I may be trying to be a real writer, but it's not so easy. Yeah, keyword trying. And you're fucking abysmal at it. I do have the ability to enjoy things that are objectively bad. I have read plenty of stories that I have liked that were grammatically broken and filled with continuity errors and cliched themes. But if these stories had a little more time, they have a lot of potential. And I can see a spark of passion from these writers. That's why I like these stories. Unfortunately, that's also why I'm severely disappointed by the response of this writer. Also, while we're on the subject, you mentioned that you're doing commissions. Why not find an editor and work out a deal to give them a portion of the commission money to work on your stuff? Also, you just got finished saying that there's a reason why real writers have editors. If you're trying to be a real writer and you're here telling me that getting an editor 
is a waste of time for you and your stories. You literally just contradicted yourself. I did pass my grammar classes with a C. I got A's in my English class for good storytelling and understanding of what makes a story work well. Not know what a this over a word means. Bitch, I don't know what that fucking means. And I can still fucking point out when you're using the wrong word, using the wrong punctuation mark, when you need a fucking comma, and when your sentences are too fucking short. Your stories are a grammatical disaster. And if you want to be a real writer, guess fucking what? You need to get on top of that shit. Or you at least need to acknowledge criticism. Because it's going to come up. One way or a fucking another. If you don't pull your head out of your fucking ass. This is a sad fucking excuse of writing quality. With what appears to be zero regard for any editing or proofreading practice. With this seemingly lazy ass approach. Blaming others and programs for your problems. And playing the woe is me card. Grow the fuck up. Fix your shit. Face your fucking criticism. Story writing is an art form, and you're going to sit there and treat the craft with so much disrespect as to say that you're trying to be a real writer while simultaneously ignoring criticism, blaming software for your mistakes, and making excuses to get out of actually fucking working at it. Fuck you. They sound like excuses. Yeah. Because they fucking are. So just to clarify really quick, your, your stories, when you wrote this to me, you only had 60 stories on the site. 10 of them were 15 pages long. That is not most. In fact, that's not even half. Please stop exaggerating to try and make me feel sympathy for you. I don't care. It's the same idea with games. If a game is good, you'll make time for it. If it's a hobby that you're passionate about, you will make time for it. And as for the trolls saying that there's stuff wrong, well, they weren't wrong. And if you're going to try and do this stuff for real, then the criticism and the critiques, you're going to have to suck it up, buttercup. That comes with the territory. If you try to hand in something that has as many mistakes as your stories have to a publisher, they are going to tell you to get out of their office and come back when you have something that doesn't suggest that you think that their time is a joke. And do you know how you improve? By listening to criticism. So let's get started with that, shall we? Okay, so some things that I noticed about your writing thing here, which you said you want to be a real or professional writer, so I'm going to look at what your credentials, quote-unquote, are, what kind of work I can expect from you. So your style, it's particularly obvious with these uh, three chapter bits that you have here, that... You start with an idea, you have an idea, but you don't plan it out or try to develop it before you start writing. So you start writing and try to flesh out your idea as you go, which ends in one of two results. Either you only complete stories that are one chapter long, known as one shots, or you're left with these stories here that just get abandoned because you have no idea where to go next. which. Really makes me wonder how that novel thing is going out if you're only able to finish one-shots. For the parts about the writing style and the canon stuff, I briefly mentioned it, but the idea that you stick to canon and the kind of content that you create is absolutely laughable. You are currently writing uh, some exorbitant smut stories, and that alone breaks the canon for 90% of the titles that you're making fanfictions of because the characters don't fuck. There is a grand total of one story that could be considered sticking to canon with the kind of stories that you're writing because of what the game that you're writing about 
is. When this wasn't your main content, you still weren't sticking to canon. Let me take some of your Zelda stories for an example. At what point was Link canonically a rich high schooler, uh, a retired kendo captain, or a man with a tail, wolf ears, and a Triforce birthmark under his eye? When was it canon that Link and Zelda were siblings? When was it canon that Link is in love with, with Fi or Fi or whatever the hell her name is? When was it canon that the champions in Breath of the Wild took a little stroll out in town and had signs that Link and Mifa were doing the Devil's Tango? Like the video if you get the reference. As for your writing style, it's not an editor's job to duplicate your writing style. They are there to remove the mistakes in your work. If you're worried about them not understanding what you're trying to say, that's why you write notes and communicate with your editor very frequently. Let me show you what an editor will do with your work. So let's grab one of your less risque ones and put that there and then bring up Word and I'll put that there. All right, I'm not going to look at Grammarly yet. Okay. Uh, yep, that should be one word. This should have a hyphen. Oh, there it is. Left and right sides. Yep. That should have a comma. All right, first paragraph is done. Here we go, form, it should be from. I keep telling you over and over and over again. What's wrong with this one? Uh, 17 years old, lived in the large mansion that was really owned by the, that his parents, okay, that should be rewritten. Um. Um, 17, god damn it, Grammarly, I wanted to do it myself, fine. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't correct it, alright. I can figure it out for myself, yay! Um, and the large mansion... What if we take that out? A comma owned by the corporation. Hmm. Let's see what's wrong. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Comma. I didn't see that. Because of the red line. Alright. It's hyphen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the general idea with editing. It's actually pretty boring. Let's see what Microsoft Word has to say. Oh, look at that pathway. Work better combined into one word. Because it's supposed to be one word. What's this? Hyphen. What's this? Comma. What's this? More concise. Connected. Huh. Microsoft Word is dumb. So yeah, that that's at least what I do. Is I find all of the mistakes and I corrected them and as you can see there's there's a lot of mistakes that are being caught by Grammarly so what happens when I take one of your more risque ones here okay so this should be worrying 
Uh, oh no. This is a recent one and you're still using form instead of from. That's horrible. Dot. Drive T. Okay, so this one should be. She, comma, tens. Although I probably should check the tense. Uh, knows she isn't so called with shadows being grills. Okay, it's all in the present tense. Good. Uh, this should have a comma. Now you're noticing that I am not focusing on the on what the content is. I'm focusing on all of the things that are wrong, that are spelled wrong, that are grammatically wrong. It should have a hyphen. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I generally just don't care. I mean, right now I'm not reading it. I'm just correcting all of the stuff that immediately stands out with all of the underlined stuff. I mean, if you want me to read it, I'll read it. Here we go. Wow, okay. True. <laughs> Seating, this should be seated. Side by side to the masters or two queens of the dark of the lovely and mysterious. See, I don't know anything about the thing that you're writing. My understanding of your story or trying to understand what it is that you're trying to write, that has nothing to do with my job. My job is to make sure your writing is clear, it's concise, it's written properly. And this bit about what you write isn't for the faint of heart. Do you really think editors give a shit about whether they're helping with a smut story or not? Do you really think that? Now to quantify some things that I mentioned in the rant, let me take your most recently updated thing and put it in both Google Docs with Grammarly and Microsoft Word, since you confidently stated that you go through them and find nothing. And then I'll do the same thing with one of the works that were present on the site when you sent me this response. Since you're so confident that you find nothing. All right, so we got the first few pages and we'll start with Grammarly. Now, I want to mention, you said you wanted to use Grammarly, but haven't had the time to use it. What kind of an excuse is that? First off, Grammarly is free, is an extension that you can add to your browser and you just have to sign in and enable it to work on Google Docs and it's ready to use. It'll take care of everything else by itself. What do you mean you haven't had time to use it? All right, so on the recent stuff, uh, on the thing that you haven't had time to use that I somehow magically do, it found 19 mistakes, and I haven't even had to look at the story itself yet. Uh-oh. And on Microsoft Word, remember, Microsoft Word is dumb. It's still finding mistakes. And funny enough, if you right click them and don't immediately hit ignore, it tells you why it should be corrected. And in one of your older near 20 page stories where you find nothing, there are 57 mistakes without having to look at the story itself yet. Good job. How do you even do this? You have properly spaced aisle here properly spaced here, and then you have a space here, and you don't notice that? It sounds... 
How do you not find this stuff? It is baffling to me. But seriously, you say this in response to me. That you're trying to be a real writer. You're trying to be a real writer. There's a reason why real writers have editors. We're so close to seeing the connection here. It's frustrating. Just get an editor, my guy. If you're trying to be a real writer and you're saying that real writers have editors, does it not make sense for you to try and get an editor and be one step ahead of the curve? Please just have that much self-awareness for the things that you're saying. No one is special. No one is perfect. We all make mistakes. And editors help us correct those mistakes when we are writing a story. And listen, I understand that the majority of writers on fanfiction are just there to fuck around and write something that they like and call it a day. And that's fine. They're not hurting anyone. It's just something that they enjoy doing. It's something they want to do. And I'll still just give a courtesy, hey, you might want to consider doing this, this, and this next time just because... What you did isn't exactly the best way you could have gone about it. And uh, maybe here's some minor stuff that I also noticed that um, you want to might consider keeping an eye out for. Things like that. Like, take this guy, for example. I go and note the things that I saw, and his responses are more what I expect. He acknowledges and most likely won't do anything about him. Because after all, amateur writing, no one expects, like, professional level writing in a fanfiction site. And he doesn't fly off the handle in his replies to me. This is what I expect. Now, Mr. Trying to be a real writer over here, God, you made such a mistake writing, saying that to me. Christ, all of this was a mistake. So, Boeth. Why are you going after this guy so much now? Well, for two reasons. I liked his stories. I thought he had interesting ideas. I want him to get better and get out of those bad writing practices. And he has the potential. The potential is there. I just want to see it be utilized because he is capable of it. And two, and this is the more egregious one. Because there is such a clear lack of writing process taking place, and a lack of editing, a lack of proofreading, a lack of everything that isn't just writing the story. And he's charging commissions for it. He's charging money to people to write stories like this. And the people that pay for it have no idea how little work is going into making it which is taking advantage of the ignorant. And you could say that I have a bit of a problem with that. Like, good lord, even a bubble graph will help with this. Never mind the editing process. A bubble graph, you can get all of your ideas on paper and see if there are any conflicting ideas that won't work together. And you can fix one mistake already before you even start writing your story. That's what a bubble graph is designed to do. Make you get your thoughts on paper. Anyway, that's it. I just find it really funny that this is the response I get after asking about why he kept writing form instead of from.